Taoist, you, you know, Tao is like evangelism, you know how as Christians you call to, to people, yeah, we have the same thing as in we call to Christians, non-Muslims, uh, and tell them about Islam in basic. So obviously, you're from London, Paul, so you know something about Islam. But yeah, I know. Uh, what do you know about things, Islam? Like, um, like shaitan is obviously the devil. Yeah. Um, I know that there's an afterlife. Mm -hmm. and that mm. Not necessarily good people, but people that have a relationship with God, mm. with a pure heart, they mm. will go to heaven. I know that for not yeah. for sure, mm -hmm. but I know that it's similar. Mm. In Islam and Christianity. I'm mm. a Christian. Yeah. Are very similar. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you guys. You, you know that Jesus existed, mm. but I think the things that we disagree on is that obviously Jesus, you guys don't believe Jesus is the Son of God. Like he is, he is God, basically. Yeah. yeah. Like so is he Son of God, or would you say he is God? As in, you're Catholic Christian, or is uh, it Pentecostal. Protestant, Pentecostal? So would you say Jesus is God or the Son of God? How would you describe I it? I think God and Jesus are two separate people. Because obviously God is the Father. I mm. think God is like the Creator. Mm. We all believe in the Creator. Mm. And Jesus is someone who He sent as a representation mm. of like a human being mm -hmm. to represent Him. Mm -hmm. And He's given Him the power to mm -hmm. be God. So, like a messenger, basically. A messenger so, like, Muhammad, yeah. Yeah, like the Prophet so, Muhammad. Yeah. So, um, great. So, you don't worship Jesus by any chance? I do. But if he's a messenger, why would you worship Him? As in, you'd think the messenger is calling back to yeah. the one who sent Him. Yeah. Why would you worship the the, the messenger? Because I believe one, because he, uh, in the Bible it says that we should, and then two, mm. he came as such a humble man, mm. like he literally cared nothing of this world, mm -hmm. and he put himself, his, he literally laid down. I don't know anyone that would literally sacrifice mm. their entire body mm -hmm. to save everyone else. Yeah. So like, what do you mean uh, sacrifice his body so like, to save everyone else? Cross to save our sins and stuff like that. But how does that save your sins? Like, is it, does it mean you can't sin anymore? What does that mean? Like, you can sin. Sin is bad. Sin is so why? Do, what was the reason for this sacrifice? As in, from your understanding, yeah, what was the reason that mm. he did that? As in, couldn't God Almighty, instead of sending someone to die for your sin, couldn't He just say, you, if a person repents sincerely, like the people before Jesus? Wouldn't it make sense just God Almighty to say, okay, this person's sought repentance sincerely from me. Could God Almighty not just say, okay, he's forgiven he or accept his uh, repentance? I think it's more of a thing where like God has a lot of morals, mm -hmm. like, he has a lot of principles mm -hmm. and he wants us to follow them. Mm -hmm. But he saw that it was very difficult for us humans to understand the way of God. Mm -hmm. So because of that, mm -hmm. he was like, you know what, let me... Let me make it easier on my people. Mm. I'm going to send down someone mm. to live the exact same life as them, mm. experience the same things that they're experiencing, mm -hmm. and to show them that someone someone can live a, a true life of a... Mm. I'm not, I'm not going to say Christian, because mm. we're all the same people at the mm. end of the day, mm -hmm. but someone can live the life of a genuine like, mm. person, like mm -hmm. a good person. Not but just hold on, you, hold on one second, Paul. Yeah, right. Would you say Jesus was a Christian then? In the Bible, he, he did declare his, like he did declare that we are Christians. But In, I, I don't think it's, it's very hit and miss. Because Christianity came after Jesus, yeah, right? Yeah, and if yeah. Jesus saw Christianity, I don't think he would recognize he, it. Do you get it? it yeah, no. You know Christian came after us by someone. Uh, they, they were calling the people. Christians as a derogative, as a slur, as a name-calling thing. And then later, I think Christians adopted this name. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus himself, but the biblical Jesus would have been described as a Jew. Circumcised, kosher, followed the, the, the laws of uh, Jude, Judaism, the Jewish name. Etc. Yeah. We know today, in today's mm. day, day and age, a lot of things have been mixed up. Mm. And so, so this is a question: How do we go back? How do we go back? For example, if we know God is one, and uh, He sent prophets, and uh, he, those prophets all declaring that you should worship only one God, wouldn't it make sense and not to worship Jesus and to worship, for example, Jesus taught you the Lord's Prayer? Do you remember the Lord's Prayer? So the disciples come and say, teach us how to pray. And then Jesus teaches the disciples how to pray according to the Bible. Do you remember the old, our Lord? Do you remember that one? It's a famous one. Our Lord who? Our Father who, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Notice Jesus is not saying, he's saying, 
Our Father who art in heaven. He never said me in heaven. Yeah, yeah. So he Hallowed be that thy name. That exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it shows that Jesus isn't God himself. Yeah, yeah. And nor does he call people to worship him. Yeah, he because he teaches people in yeah. that prayer that they should worship only one God. And that's yeah. his, what he, father, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. describes as the Father. Yeah. And this is similar to in Islam. But you obviously have to readjust yourself. Because Islam, it does away with these uh, terminologies like the Father, Son and everything. Because we say God is beyond man. And they He's transcendent. A lot of people, even like, I think a lot of translations of the Bible yeah. have been rewritten. And misunderstood. So, so whereas it would have been in Hebrew, yeah, it's, it's turned into English and it's lost a lot of it. Exactly. So this is where the Quran it came, comes in. And even if you read the footnotes in the Bible, you realize that refer, refer back to this manuscript. Oh, it's not it's not found in this manuscript and everything. So this is where the Quran it says it came as Muhaymin or Musaddiq. Like as in it confirms that which was sent before because it got distorted. Either from Tabdil or Taghir, it's been replaced by something or it's been changed or Tahrif, someone... Uh, purposefully changed it. So Islam, it came with the final religion, with the final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, confirming that which was sent before from the Injil or the, the message that Jesus had and the Torah, the message that Moses had. So Islam, it comes as the final message. So the Prophet Jesus, he says, I'm not being sent to the Joseph, uh, to the Gentiles yeah, yeah. or go ye not into the yeah, way I'm of the Gentiles. I've been sent only yeah. for the lost sheep of Israel. 100%. Whereas in Islam, it said it's been sent for the whole of humanity. Everyone, yeah, yeah. Everyone and this is where we say, like as in Islam is made for everyone. In the Quran, it says, do not die except you be yeah. as a Muslim as well. Yeah. So anyway, um, we got some material. There was a good speaker. Have you have any questions or anything? No, I, no? I love like Paul? my dad's Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Christian. Uh -huh. I never lived with my dad. Obviously, mm. he has multiple. Have you looked wives. into his, his? He's got multiple. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so you know, he's yeah, always this traveling. Is... Yeah. What's like your to... background? Um, Nigerian is it? Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Yeah, okay, Sierra Leone. nice, nice, nice. So yeah. obviously, he has like a lot of wives, multiple wives, multiple. Mm. Mm. I, I respect him a lot mm. because I know that he's helped out all these women mm. to give them a give them one children mm -hmm. maybe even back then he's looking our, after our them parents could have died if not mm -hmm. for him mm -hmm. he probably helped them back then mm -hmm. i love i have unconditional love i'll mm -hmm. never hate anyone mm -hmm. regardless mm -hmm. like if you hurt me now let's say you stab me mm -hmm. in the moment <laughs> god forbid, yeah god forbid, forbid. If you, in the moment yeah. i will like be furious, upset, of course, angry yeah. mm. in the hospital, mm. I'll forgive you. Mm. I don't want to, because I always like to forgive. Because mm. I know when I forgive, my mind is clear. Yeah. And I don't need to worry. Oh, Rahimun ya ya yeah. Yeah. So it, that's how it is, man. For the me, one who has mercy. Heart, God will judge yeah. you rightly. So the one who has mercy upon those on the earth, yeah. the one who is in have heavens will have mercy upon you. Exactly. This is a hadith, a statement exactly. of the Prophet Muhammad. So it, it's all aligned. At the end mm. of the day, it's more about your heart. God mm. sees your heart. When you go, when you die, mm. you'll be like, listen, yeah, mm. maybe you, you were serving the wrong religion. Mm. Like, fuck all of that. Mm. He's going to be like, mm. sorry, my nah, No, 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 no. He's going to be like, listen. I but see, you have to, I you have to do what you can, Paul. Exactly. You have to do what you can, Paul, and I have to do what I'm on. Yeah. Look, he's going to be like, you. you came out every day coming to people, mm. asking them, q and a and them, actually getting them to learn more about mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. He's so what stops you from accepting Islam? For example, yeah. if we say upbringing, that we, upbringing, huh? upbringing, just upbringing. upbringing. Take some time, Paul. Yeah. No one's going to change their life. Three, no, no. sixty. I won't, and I won't change. Chris. Yeah. I will never change. Well, we n never life. say never. No, no, That's I know personally. Yeah. I will never change. But it's mm. the same way. Like if I was to say, oh, come mm. to Christianity. Yeah. Like you, you know, mm. you know your heart already. Mm. Mm. It's not about changing at the end of the day. It's about creating that relationship. No, but it's about bettering. We're not asking you, for example, to do yeah, free yeah. sick. We're just saying readjust yourself. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't lose nothing. You yeah. still have Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah, as we still have Jesus. But yeah. you put the addition off that you have Islam with the Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we believe in all of the messengers before. I mean, so it's not really a change. People, exactly. So it's not really a change. It's more of a uh, reinforcement. I think, I'm thing, right? I, I, think huh? I am. Yeah? I think, yeah, well, take your time. That's Islam. That's Islam. Um, Tay, anyway, it was great speaking to you. Come we'll continue on, the conversation, yeah? Pleasure. Yeah? I'll follow you guys now. Yeah? yeah. Okay, great, great, great. Okay. Oh.